the oats like you both have been half baked or eight baked. This is fully baked. <laughs> but you can't have cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Here are two type errors that uh, the error messages that KHC produces. So I have a list with the true and the string and it says could it match like blah 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 it points here. So it's like GHC presents you with little riddle. I found a bool and I found a list of characters. Now you figure out where they came from. <laughs> or here, now in our instance, yeah, rising from plus, uh, yes. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but where did the bool come from? <laughs> So, this is our Haskell compiler, and it says, well, the differing types are string and bool, and string came from here, and I've highlighted it in blue, and bool came from here, and I've highlighted it in red. Or this error, there's no num bool class, and uh, the class num came from the plus, and the type bool came from the blue true. <laughs> slide, so I showed you the problem, and here's the solution, and on the third slide is the implementation. Mm -hmm. Is this a complete Haskell type checker? Well, I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> I removed a few unessential cases. <laughs> of that type you found in the environment to be the location of the variable. Applications, you type check the function, type check the argument, you invent the new type variable and you give it the location of the application. And then you do a unification and you give the arrow the location of this application. And lambda, similar. And the rest of the cases you can deduce from these three. <laughs> Pushes type the, it uh, pushes the, the, the location all the way through the type. And when you do unification, when you find a substitution, you just forget the location of the type variable and just keep the location of the, the type you're putting in instead. Over to you, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Does this play nice with GADT? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea because I haven't implemented GADTs. Can you put the type checker on your blog for us? <laughs> yes, I have a half-finished blog post. Thank you. So. The chameleon system basically did the same, but uh, using slices. So basically, they keep track of all the regions that together cause an error. Uh, so sometimes you have several things together which cause the uh, the type, the component of the type. You, yeah, you could keep more locations around, like have a list of locations or a tree or something, but uh, this has worked quite well in practice. We've had a lot of people using this and they don't complain too much about type <laughs> errors. Okay. Any more questions? What if the type of the variable was inferred and actually the thing to blame is somewhere else because the information flew to the Yeah, it doesn't necessarily always point to absolutely the right place, but it points to two places mm -hmm. that you know that through these two places was some flow of type information that didn't agree. So at least you get some locations. So usually it's enough to figure out. You can have people who actually used it, like uh, Neo. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, now let me see, whose boss is... <laughs> 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 he, he, I, anything, he's my boss. Yeah, he reports to me. Neil doesn't make play patterns. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. <laughs>